Hello, everyone. It's Christine Till. I call myself the Marketing Mentress Online, and I wanted to do a special recording today to be able to help everybody with what I did yesterday on our tick, uh, not TikTok, our um, LinkedIn Live event. So I'm going to share my screen with you because we went deep into uh, LinkedIn and I found some really great information to share with everybody. So I've got to find my LinkedIn now. <laughs> if I can get in there, that would be so cool. So I call myself Christine Till, the marketing mentress. I became the marketing mentress years ago when and I was laid off my last job at the age of 61, guys. Yeah. And so what was I going to do? How was I going to provide for myself and for my family, right? Because back then it was just our kids where we, we've been empty nesters for quite a few years now. But how do we even look after ourselves? And so it, I was really blessed because my oldest son is a lead programmer. Was At that time, he was a lead programmer at Amazon, not Amazon, uh, 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 Microsoft. And so as... So he heads up teams of team programmers. And one of the things he, he needed help with was to help him with LinkedIn. And so he taught me how to use LinkedIn and hired me to help him work on some of his projects. So it was really a great experience for me to be able to learn all of that. And so what I've had, I'd started doing is going to networking meetings, sit down to breakfast types of networking meetings, right? And I would sit there and watch the people as they came into those meetings. And they were, these people were either had gray hair or they were bald. Yeah. So what in the world were they, were they doing there? Well, they were there for about the same reason I was there. And I realized these people are just like me. They've been laid off their jobs and in their 50s or their 60s. And they're trying to find another way to make an income for themselves because they still had rent to pay or mortgages to pay or car payments to pay their bills right we we all have bills and so they were starting to try and figure out ways that they could make money online right or through going to networking meetings so not let not necessarily all of them were online so i got the brainwave right away to ask people how many of you here are on facebook and all the hands would go up in the room right and then I would say, how many of you here are on Twitter? And about half the room, the hands would go up. So then I would ask them, how many of you here are on LinkedIn? Well, the first time I did that, we had 35 to 40 people in a room in, in this networking meeting. And two hands went up, guys. Two. Two people were on LinkedIn. Three, counting me. <laughs> and I, so I got on, on the bandwagon right away. I was thinking on my feet. And I realized that there was a room next to, to this meeting room that could be rented for free or booked for free. So I said, okay, starting next week, I've got two 20 minute slots before the meeting and two 20 minute slots after the meeting, dollar a minute, I'll help you get started setting up your LinkedIn profile. <laughs> so that's how I got started coaching guys. And I just have loved it. I love helping people. I My university education is as an elementary school teacher. And I just love teaching and helping people learn new things. And one of the things I've learned about myself is the fact that I, even though I grew up without tech, I I can learn it, right? I don't have dementia. I don't think I'm a frump. I think I can still learn stuff, right? <laughs> and I was able to learn things to help these other people. So I work with people that are just like me, that are trying to make a business or build a business online, and they don't have tech. And so they need to find things that are done for them. So I went through a long myriad of different network marketing businesses. And as I went through all those network marketing businesses, I realized that I felt like I was being nibbled to death by a duck because it was $10 a month here and $25 a month over there and $45 a month over there and auto ship over here and an auto ship over there. And I'm going, what? Oh my gosh, I was paying out more money than what I was making, right? So I got out of most all my network marketing stuff, right? I'm only in a, maybe a handful of things right now. And it's just, I'm using them because they help me with my health. 
right? I have advanced arthritis in my body. <laughs> so I'm going to stay as healthy as I possibly can. So we won't go into more, any more details about myself. I just wanted to share that bit of a story because I think it might resonate with some of you out there. So right now you're seeing my screen. I've shared my screen and I'm going to go through some of these icons across the top of my screen here. This first little one that I'm showing you. Okay, can you see my mouse going around the little picture of me? If you click on your me button, you can go and view your profile. And I just want to tell you a few key things about your profile. Your profile is you and how you can help people, right? It's not about you and, and the fact that you have a doctorate degree or a master's degree or you've got, uh, you're a trained mezzo-soprano. Like there's, they don't want to know that. People are going to look at your profile. They want to know what you can do to help them. It's they're thinking about themselves, right? So what you say on your profile has to hit them in the heart, guys, has to hit them in the heart and stop their scroll. Otherwise, they'll just keep on scrolling by. You've got three seconds to grab their attention. Three seconds. People say it's seven. No, it's three. They look right away. Your background banner. Oh, multiple streams of passive and residual income. I got that. Okay, let's. Oh, oh, there's that headline. Uh, launch on an online business and learn how to earn 20K by the holidays. Oh, nobody's ever said that. Ah, oh, and they're thinking, if that is hitting them in the heart, they're going to read the rest of it. And then they're going to scroll down your profile. And they're going to look for your about page and they're going to look at that about page and they're going to click on see more and they're going to look and see what it puts in it for them most of the people that i have been working with and most of the profiles that i see on linkedin talk about them they don't talk about their customer they don't reach out to their customer so i i'll just read a little bit here so that you get the idea i've dreamed of being able to retire and have financial freedom I'm not talking about the mansions, the private jets, the fancy cars and the yachts. I'm just talking about knowing that I don't have to worry about how we're going to buy groceries, not living under the stress of a mountain of debt, being able to travel when we want to visit grandchildren, being able to help out our kids and spoil our grandchildren, finally buying our dream home and just totally enjoying life on our terms. Never having to worry about being warehoused in an old folks home. That's just the beginning of my about page. See how that speaks to your perfect client, your perfect customer? Do you see how that reaches out to them? So it tells you a little bit about how you're thinking, but then they can relate to it because that's how they're thinking, right? So everything you do on your profile has to speak to your perfect customer, okay? It's not all about you. And now you can go in and add your experience and different things in your education and your services but where it says de descriptions for all of these things in your descriptions you you speak to people the same way you did in the about page right i became a teacher uh, are you having a hard time or struggling to learn i became a teacher because i wanted to help people be able to learn things right and follow step by step descriptions yeah so that speaks to your your perfect customer. It tells a little bit about you, but it's mostly reaching out to your customer. And all of your featured I items, articles, posts, you, you select which ones you want to feature on here, right? Yeah, that's you. To, you select those. And you can go in and you can change them at any time. But I've got quite a few up here. Yeah. <laughs> And so you can show all your featured items if you want. They all come up here. See? And you need to use really good pictures or video with them, right? If you don't, it's, it doesn't speak to people. If you're doing posts and you're not putting pictures on there or video on there, you're not going to have very good success online. You, you need to use really great graphics. And that has proven true for the last 13 and a half years that I've been doing this LinkedIn coaching. I call myself a LinkedIn strategist because I talk about things different than most LinkedIn coaches do. We strategize. So the next button here, you see where you see the number 20 and it says no notifications. You click on that. Those are all the posts 
that the groups that you belong to, they'll put the groups there and they'll say there's a new post in this group, which is what this says. And you can go and check out the new post. Uh, they, they show people that have commented on your posts. So these are this is a post that I just put out recently. And this is my group that I've been, that's really not my group, but I'm helping grow this group for somebody else. Yeah, the Seattle Business Network. So here's the thing. If you're looking to get into groups, you want to get into groups that have 3,000 or more people in them because you're looking for inventory. You need inventory to work with. So you just go through these notifications and there's another post of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll say thank you to this person. See, thanks for endorsing me for digital strategy. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. They have LinkedIn has these pre-done messages that you can use. Huh. <laughs> So there's different posts. These are some of these posts are my own. Some of them are telling me about posts and comments from other people, right? Yeah. So that's really interesting to keep on top of because you'll people will make comments on a post, and that's where you're going to find out if they're ready to learn about what you're promoting with the legacy program, which is what the program that I found recently, and it's pre-done for all of us people who have no tech. It's awesome. And if I can do it and I'm 75, anybody can do it, right? So we can learn all this stuff. And that's where you find the people that have responded to your posts. And then there's a messaging. And, a, and the messaging is set up in such a way now that you can just click on this little unread button. And all the people that have responded to your messages that you haven't responded to yet show up. So you don't have to go scrolling through all your people to find the people that you need to respond to, right? And there's drafts and there's your connections and there's in mail and star and focused. So these are both focused and unread. And I usually leave it at that setting because those are the people that I, I want to watch for. And if you're looking for a job, this is the jobs button. I never use that button because I'm not looking for a job. I do not want to get up at five o'clock in the morning anymore and fight rush hour traffic to get to a job. And this is your network. So if you click on this button, you go to my network. And there you'll see where people have, have accepted your invitation. So there's three people that have accepted invitations to connect here. And that's great. So I can click here and view them all and respond to them right away if I want to. And this fellow is inviting me to connect. So he's looking for clients. So he looks like he might be a good pe person to connect with. So I'll just click accept. And there we go. So I've accepted his request to connect. And then these people below here where they, they uh, LinkedIn suggests that you might want to connect with these people. They suggest people for you to connect with based on what's in your profile, right? So in my profile, I'm talking about network marketing. Yeah. Huh. So I'm going to invite him to connect, work at home part-time, right? I'm going to invite him to connect. And this person, junior system engineer, doesn't look like he'd be a good one for me. Helping biz with e-commerce based on your profile. Uh, there's no headshot. So if there's no headshot, on people's profiles, I do not like to, to to reach out to those people. If they're not willing to show me who they are, they're hiding something from me, right? This person's an entrepreneur and she's in network marketing. I'll ask her to connect. Here's the reason why you want to connect with people in network marketing. Because these people, most of them are not happy with their companies, right? Yeah, they're not making the money that they really want to need and want to make to be able to facilitate all their dreams and hopes that they had when they first joined that company. It's a lot of work building a network marketing company. You have to spend a lot of time. You're, they get make they ask you to make a list of 200 names and you phone all those people or you DM them one of the two. So you're spending tons of time on your computer and on your phone trying to get business, right? Pushing lotions, potions, pills, and crypto. And I am so happy with this program because we get it all set up. It's fully automated. And all you do is you, you it's 95% done for you, right? All you have to do is 
follow the instructions in the little videos that are that are there they're made available for us for free these, these tra training videos and it's step one do this step two do this very simple and straightforward and that's what i need i just need some steps to be able to follow so with these videos i call it my play stop do system i play a little bit stop it do it on mine play a little bit stop it do it on mine rewind <laughs> Play a little bit, stop it, do it on mine. I think I went through it about six times when I first got everything set up. And it took me about two weeks, right? Because I'm no tech. I And I went very slowly. And I had to mix it in with my clients that I have, my LinkedIn clients that I have as well. So I finally got it done. And right after I got finished being set up, guess what? Somebody bought the big pack. Yeah. There's four packages, four streams of income, a 100, a 300, a 600, and a 900. Uh, and I went for the 900 myself because it gives you access to four passive streams of income. And right now with the Black Friday special, we're giving you access to five, number five stream of income. I'll tell you about that in just a minute, but I want to go deep with LinkedIn today because LinkedIn is the place to be. I also connect with realtors because we have quite a few realtors that have joined our community and bought pro programs because they need a way to build an email list. If you have a business, uh, bricks and mortar network marketing, I, I wish I'd known about this program when I was in network marketing because I sure could have used it <laughs> because they teach you how to build an email list. Yeah, if you don't have an email list today and you're trying to build a business, you don't have a business. Yeah. You need an email list. If you want a good, solid, stable business, you need to build that email list. So this fellow is a realtor. So I'm going to invite him to connect with me. And this person's a coach, podcaster, speaker, no, life coach, no, uh, realtor. Yeah, let's try that one. Because realtors really, they can, they can use this program. Here's another realtor here. And let's see. So with me, I tr I work to invite five to 10 people to connect with me every day, okay? And so those five to 10 people, I I have to stop when LinkedIn tells me to stop, right? But I, I know what my limits are, so I know that I can do five to 10. If I don't get a little pop-up message from LinkedIn telling me that I've reached my limit for the day or reached my limit for the week or you've reached your limit for the month, then I can keep on inviting people to connect. But I do it slowly so that it gives LinkedIn a chance to catch up with me, right? And follow what I'm doing. So there's marketing consultants and a manager of marketing, healthcare. Um, this one could be interesting here, but I'm not going to invite them right now. And then you, you don't want to subscribe or join. You want to find more connects, right? People you could connect with. So there's a life coach, JV Ventures. Oh, I'll click on that. Funeral Celebrant, Philanthropy, Wild TV, The Cowboy. Oh, my. <laughs> Edmonton Residential. Oh, that sounds like she might be a realtor. So I'm going through this to find people that I think might be open to building an email list, right? Yeah. Now go through all these follows. I don't want those follows. I want to get back to the connects, the people that are re ready to connect. Um, some of them are the same. Okay, I think I've probably pretty much got everybody here. So the another, another place that you can go is to go into the groups, right? So you go into these nine dots here. I call it the crosshatch. And you go, there's a drop down menu and you choose the one that says groups with the three little men. Click on that and scroll all the way down to the bottom to do a search and you're going to search for groups so let's say you want to do home-based business
groups. And you want to make sure that when it finishes here that you get, make you double click on the, make you sure you have the, this green button clicked on for the groups, right? And you, you can put in here network marketing, you can put whatever you want to search for in order to find the, the criteria you need for your groups, right? So this is, if it says view posts, that means you're already in the group. If it says join, that means you can click and join that group, right? Yeah. So these groups are all good size, 10,000, 19,000, 12,000, 7,000, 8,000, 2,000, not that good. You want to have 3,000 or more members in a group, right? And you probably, LinkedIn probably, if you're new to this, you, LinkedIn probably won't let you join more than two group, 10 groups, five to 10 groups, but it will send a message. And as soon as you get that pop-up message from LinkedIn saying you, you've you reached your limit of, of groups to join, then you have to wait until you get accepted into some of the groups that you've requested to join. And once they come back to you and accept you, you'll get a message through the notifications you'll get a message that you have been accepted into such and such a group, right? And then you know that you can go and check that group out. So before you even ask to join the group, what you can do is you can read their, their rules of engagement. So we'll just take this one, for instance, here, this home-based business opportunity. And I'll click on it. So it says about this group, right? Right. Start your own home-based business and work part-time or full-time working from home with very low investment and potentially lucrative income from sales and others in downline. Direct selling, MLM, working from home, work at home business. And so you know what they want, okay? Start your own home-based business. So it looks like you can post. I'm going to put here show all. Only members can see this post in the group, the private details. So you click done. So it's really important to read the, their, the terms of use for each of the groups that you want to join. And I learned that, how important that is way back when I was first getting online. All we had when I first started was LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And I wasn't in any of them. So because I was so non-techy and I was so afraid of them, I read the entire terms of use for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And that taught me the rules of engagement, right? What you can post, how many profiles you're allowed. All of them, all three of them have stated in their terms of use that they only want you to have one profile. And with, um, uh, with Facebook and LinkedIn, they have also added uh, business pages or company pages. So with Facebook, you have a business page and and you can have unlimited numbers of business pages. Like I, I've got several business pages on LinkedIn and they're, they call them company pages on LinkedIn. So you have one main profile page that is sort of generic, written in a generic way. And then you set up these company pages or business pages and they're attached to your profile and you invite key people that you want to be able to follow those pages. So you, you have the ability to be able to market multiple different businesses. Yeah. And I think that was brilliant that they started that. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the groups. So let's go into one of my own groups. So I'm going to go into uh, this one. So these, this work from home group, I belong to this group. So if I want to use this group for inventory, I want to look for people to invite to connect with me. So you click, see where it says show all here. You click on the show all button and that will take you into all the membership of that group. So we've got over 18,000 members here, guys. So you start with A, A, okay? And this, the, this person is an entre entrepreneur, helped to earn digitally using smartphone. Ah, so that looks, and she's got a picture up there. So I'm going to click on message. 
and You chat GPT if you want, write a message. This is chat GPT here. It says, I hope your week is going well. I came across your profile and discovered that we are both members of the work from home. Blah, blah, blah. It's exciting to see that. Thank you for considering connecting. I would love to learn more about your experiences. So that the bottom is at the top, it says, let's connect for a chat, right? So I click this button. And I click send, right? Or you can create your own little message. I have a bunch of messages that I've saved in Word documents, and I can just copy and paste them in there if I want. And so let's go down, and, and we'll see if there's another one here. Um, we're still in the AAs, right? And you want to invite people that are at either at a second level or a third level, right? If they are at a first level connection, that means you're already connected, right? There's no use inviting them to connect. <laughs> and you can do this just by sending a regular message and that you're flying under the wire here with LinkedIn. So LinkedIn will see that you're sending a message, but they don't know that you're inviting people to connect with you. I've done as many as 110 invitations in one day. Yeah, because I was able to fly under the radar. Now, there have been a bunch of changes since I did that, and I still try to stay within about 10 invitations. If I don't get a pop-up from LinkedIn, then I'll send a few more and just test the waters a little bit to make sure that I'm still flying under the radar. So that's where you can go and, and invite people to connect. Yeah, isn't that cool? So here's my recommendation for groups. You want to be in, you can, join as many as 100 groups. I was there once, but I found that it was so hard to manage 100 groups. It took so much time. And that's part of why I was spending 16 to 18 hours a day sitting in front of my computer. So I love this new program that I found, the, the Legacy Program, where you can spend two hours a day and get concerted effort directed onto income earning activities, and then you can have the rest of the day to do whatever you want, right? It's cool. I love that. I'm I'm in my 70s, guys. I'm at a, a point in my life where I would really like to just relax a lot more, not have to be getting up early in the morning every day and be able to just get, hop on a plane and go visit my grandbabies whenever I want to. They're not all so much babies anymore, but I call them my grandbabies. <laughs> yeah, some of several of my older ones have graduated from university or they're in university. One is working on her master's in university. Yeah, you get re you get really proud of your grandchildren and you want to brag about them. <laughs> yeah, it's just you can't I can't I haven't got words for it. It's just wonderful to have grandchildren. So you can do this. And remember, your best friend is your back arrow right here. Click on that back arrow and you can go back into your um, your 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 groups here are listed on the left side, right? So you've got, let's go into this direct selling professionals. This is a big group. This is a really big group. They've got, let's see. Like I think it's over 100,000 members in this group. Trying to see where they are here. So you do the same thing. You click on the show all button. You go into the group. You, do, you start with AA. And then you go A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E. And then you get through the whole alphabet. Then you go B, A. Yeah. B, 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 C. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you work through the alphabet. And so you'll see some firsts in here. So these people I've already connected with, they're already in my LinkedIn connections. Yeah. They've joined my network, so to speak. So you, I want to look for the people who are second and third level connections, right? So a second level connection is somebody who's connected to somebody that you're already connected to. So say I, I'm connected to Joe Popperhuski, and he's he and I are first level connections, okay? But Joe is connected to Susie Q. So Susie Q is a second level connection from me because Joe is in between us, right? There's one person in between us. 
And then Susie Q is connected to Joan of Arc. And so Joan of Arc is a third level connection because there's Susie Q and Joe Paparhuski in between, right? So that's one, two, three levels of connection. And they go out further than that. LinkedIn doesn't show anybody that's further out than the third. They don't put the numbers there, but sometimes you'll see profiles with no numbers beside them. And that's quite often because they are further out than a third or second level connection. So I hope that helps you guys understand some things about how you can maneuver the, the groups. So, oh, they've got 20,000 members, 20,600 members. Yeah, so go you go back up to this little arrow in the corner and you go look for some more small business network. So these are all networks that I've been using for a few years now. So some of the people in here are going to be first level connections and some are just going to be second and third level connections. I haven't done, I haven't worked this group a lot yet. So my recommendation, so there's over 300,000 people in this group, guys. Yeah. Is that enough inventory? <laughs> yeah. I, so here's, here's a little story that I tell people. Let's say, so to help them understand this legacy project, because it pays you 100% commission. You, you don't have to share it with other people. That's network marketing and affiliate marketing. You have to, you just get a, a tiny piece of the pie, a certain percentage of every sale that you make, right? So let's say you have a t-shirt store and you know that your competitor, Joe Paparhuski across the street has a t-shirt store and people are saying he's got some really neat new t-shirts. So you go over there and take a look. Oh, you see one t-shirt you really like that's very unique. So you buy that t-shirt for 20 bucks, right? And once you buy that t-shirt, it's yours. You can do with it as you want. You can wear it. You can sell it. You can use it as a rag, whatever you want to do, right? So let's say you decide to take it over to your store and sell it. And oh, you sell it and you charge $25, right? And you get to keep all the money in your own pocket. Oh, now you need more inventory. So you have to go back over to Joe Paparhuski's store and buy a bunch of t-shirts this time because you need to have inventory. And you take them back to your store and sell them. And you have to go through that procedure every month or every week. However often you run out of inventory, you have to keep buying inventory. And that's what monthly fees are with network marketing. They give you access to inventory to sell, right? And, and as long as you pay those monthly fees, you buy access to more inventory. So with this program, the legacy program, you you buy one of the programs, there's four programs, a 100, a 300, a 600, and a 900. And once you choose one of those programs and you buy it, you pay for it one time. There's no monthly fees, guys, none. And then you pay one time $29 for your website because you need to have a website with links where people can go click and buy, right? And so that's one time, no monthly fees, just one time, right? And then you just need to have a domain name. And I go to GoDaddy. GoDaddy is the best. It's the king of all of them. And they have the best service. And, I would, and I'm not getting paid to tell you this. <laughs> no. It's really important to know where you can go to, and the safe places to go, right? So I, I bought all my domain names from GoDaddy. And the GoDaddy system works the most compatible with the legacy program system as well so all the instructions how to get that connected to your computer with the legacy program is really simple straightforward it's if, if a boomer like me can follow it anybody can follow it so let's go back to linkedin here so the biggest kept secret is in the groups to linkedin so if you're looking for your perfect customer i've already showed you a way to find your perfect customer then once you've got every day, you've got your limit that you have. I always say five to 10 people because LinkedIn has put limits on things and on how many people you can invite to connect every day. So if you if you don't get any messages and you can invite 10 people a day, great. Stop for a while at 10 and just for the first couple of weeks, do 10. If it, But if you're brand, brand new and you just set up a brand new LinkedIn account, you need to make sure that you just invite maybe three to five people every day until 
for about, do that for about two weeks, okay? And then increase it to maybe seven or eight people, right? And do that for two weeks and gradually increase your requests to connect with people. And, and just be safe. I'm teaching you how to be safe with this, guys. <laughs> Don't push the envelope. If you push the envelope, you'll end up in LinkedIn jail. That's what I call it. They freeze your account. And then you're really up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> you can tell I was born on the farm, right? So I recommend that you don't join any more than maybe 15 to 20 groups at a time. And you test the groups out. Some of the groups will accept your posts because here's how you post in the groups. You only post in your groups once a week. So every week in LinkedIn, I may I write an article and I... I use chat GPT and I, we create according to what our training is telling us in the community. I will go into chat GPT and ask, to ask it to create some hooks. That's opening statements that stop the scroll. Right. And so I create a bunch of hooks and then I'll take those hooks and ask chat GPT to create a, a short one minute, minute script for a video. Right. Or I'll ask it to take those hooks one at a time and create an article for LinkedIn. And they, the chat GPT is awesome. You go in and read some of my articles. I didn't write them all. I do go in and edit them so that they sound more like me. But I want because I want to make sure that there aren't any mistakes, because the very first time I used chat GPT, I wanted to do a LinkedIn article. I asked chat GPT to use a, to write a LinkedIn article for me. That was a few years ago. <laughs> and when just after chat GPT got started or just after I found out about it, I think chat GPT had been going for about a year before then. Anyway, so I went in there and I asked chat GPT to write an article about this fuel additive that I was promoting from one of my network marketing organizations and told them a bunch of things about this fuel additive. So what, what happened? Chat GPT wrote me this beautiful article about this additive that you need to take before you go for your regular daily workout. <laughs> and I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, I had to do some editing on that <laughs> big time. So it taught me a big lesson in that you have to give it a few more details, right? So that it knows what you're looking for. And so I've been using ChatGPT for several years now. And so they'll, it writes, um, mo most of all my articles are written using chat GPT. And then I just edit them a little bit so that they sound more like me and, and more like what it is that I'm talking about. Right. And I just love it. You guys, it's absolutely awesome. So I publish an article and I'm going to go into the articles here. So if you want to check out your articles, you go to your me button. And you scroll down, see here, you scroll down to where it says manage posts and activity. So you click on posts and activity. And then this window opens up and you click, it shows all the posts and activity that you've had going through your profile. Yeah, all your latest images and things. Yeah, isn't that cool? So I'm pretty active because I publish an article every week and I have everything set up so that. I have three posts a day going out, three to five posts a day going out through all my social media platforms. Yeah. And so then I'm going to click on the more button and go into my articles. Okay. And there it shows me all my articles, right? And you can do that on yours as well. So you'll see all your articles in there. And so if you want to check up on some of your articles, you can go and check up. So one of the things I always do is at the end of each of my articles, I put links, okay? So there's, under my name is my link to my website. This is an, another link that takes people to sign up. This is my LinkedIn link. This is another link that takes people to sign up, probably to a video. And X, which used to be Twitter, has th that's the link to get to my Twitter. And that's the link to my Pinterest. And that's the link to my TikTok, right? And I will copy and paste this on the bottom of each one of my articles so that people can go to each one of my different social media platforms and 
my web website and get more information about me and about the business that I'm promoting, right? So you attach live links to the bottom of each one of your articles and you attach live links to the to blocks of words inside each of your articles. Yeah, it's really great to use those in your system. So I just wanted to show you that a little bit of that as well. So if you go back to your me button, you can also go into your settings and privacy here and go into your settings and privacy and go through each one of these things step by step. You have your account preferences, which is where it's at right now, where you have your name, location and industry. Go through it very slowly and make sure that you set it up the way you want it, right? Yeah, so you want auto pay videos on, sound effects on, all LinkedIn members showing profile photos. Yeah, so you go through this and make sure that you have it all set up the way you want it. And sign in and security. So my sign in is set up so that I have a two phase sign in. I click and add my, my email and my password, but then I have them send me a text message through my LinkedIn app on my phone. Yeah. And nobody else is going to have my phone, right? I'm going to have my phone. So there's my two-step verification turned on and your visibility, who can see you. So I want people to be able to see my name and my headline. And if you have your, your page visibility turned off, like who's going to find you? Why are you on there in the first place, right? You want it all to be turned on. So you work through all of these things here and make sure you've got everything set up the way you want it, right? And so just work through each one of these things down the left side and you'll have a different list of items in the main part of your page. And that's going to take some time to work through that. And, but you need to do that. You need to get everything set up so that people can find you on LinkedIn. And so many times people have said, oh, I'm on LinkedIn. And I get their name and I do a search on LinkedIn and I can't find them. Because they don't have their things set up properly back here. <laughs> yeah. So then I hit this little back arrow. That's going to take me back. I sign in and security. And take me back another page to account preferences. You see how it takes you back? It takes you back to the previous page that you were at, right? So I'm going to show you some more things in my network. So one of the things you want to check every day in your network is the catch up button. And it no, it's not the red stuff you put on hot dogs. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you want to wish people happy birthday. It's it's all LinkedIn is set up to build relationships with people. It's beautifully set up, right? So you go in and you wish them a happy birthday. So I always go in every day and I wish a few people happy birthday. And they have an automatic message. Yeah, these are people that you're already connected to. And and congrats on your 20 year anniversary. I'm definitely going to congratulate this person. Right? You hear the little bloop, bloop, and you can go down. This person has a two year anniversary, so I'll just go ahead and give them congratulations on their anniversary. They People like that. There's no more beautiful thing in your, in anybody's mind than to have somebody acknowledge you. Yeah. And here's a couple more birthdays. I'm going to do a couple more birthdays and then we'll stop at that. And there's another happy birthday. So you go in and do that because it starts a conversation, another conversation. So that way you keep in touch with your people all year long, right? And if you want, if you've got 15 minutes, you can just spend 15 minutes to go through and invite people or not invite people, say, say congratulations on their anniversaries or their accomplishments and wish them happy birthday. Yeah, the happy birthday is 
people get really surprised with with somebody wishing them happy birthday on here because not very many people do. Okay, now I'm going to show you another secret here. Okay, you be prepared for this. So in your notifications, you're going to get a notice that somebody has visited your profile. Uh huh. Who has visited my profile? Where is that section? I usually have so many posts going through my. Going through my account. Endorsements are coming through. Say thanks. I always want to make sure I thank people for endorsing me. And somebody requested to join one of my groups, Marketing Enthusiasts. That's my group. And it just has, I think we're at 3,000. So you can click and approve. No more requests to review. Let's go into Marketing Enthusiasts. I'm curious, curious how many we've got in there now. Three hundred and three thirty six hundred, so just over thirty six hundred. So we're doing good. The group is growing slowly. So I'm going to hit my back arrow again and hit it again. And that's another thing you can set up your own group if you want, and be marketing through your own group. So you could set up your own legacy builders group if you want. Yeah, I'll give you a word of caution though. You need to be on it every day and posting something and acknowledging people and inviting more people to come and join your group, right? So you need to be probably doing three hours of work instead of two by the time you add all the LinkedIn stuff that you want to do. So um, we're going to go back to notifications again. I typed in profile visit there. That's a shortcut. So you don't have to spend a whole bunch of time. Okay. How about that? I set my alarm so I remember meetings. <laughs> And that way, I can be able to help people. So my next meeting is going to be going in five minutes here. So I've touched on quite a few different things here to help you. And one of the key things that a lot of people don't know about is the fact that there are people who visit your profile. And you get notifications through the notifications tab telling you that your profile has had 18 visits or whatever, right? And that's really important to follow up with those people and to send them a message. Thank you for vi the visit. I, I, I'll, I'll say something like, hey, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate the visit, right? I'd like to learn more about what you're up to lately, that kind of thing. And then I just, I'm really short and sweet. And they usually always get back to you. Yeah, because they don't, real, they don't, people don't realize that they're talking to pe real people on there sometimes. I think they think it's all fake. Anyway, those are the key things that I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to make sure that we went a little deeper into LinkedIn today. So next week, it's not next week, um, my next LinkedIn Live will be on the 12th of December. December 12th is my next LinkedIn Live. And so we'll take off with, I'll start right off with the um, profile visits and we'll finish up with our deep dive on LinkedIn. So thanks for stopping by. It's great to be able to talk to you and share all these things.